Welcome back to The Price of Business. I am your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. I hope you're having a great Tuesday. Delighted to be with you today. I uh, do want to remind you, we got new videos coming up soon for my trip to New Orleans uh, that we did with the folks out there with GroCo and Sound Telecom, and looking forward to that. Uh, Mar- Margo Costello, she is our uh, guest, thanks to our very good friend, Charles Alvarez, who is a sales, consul- sales and marketing consultant extraordinaire. He does great great work uh, for the price of business companies and uh, always delighted to have him on the show and always enjoy uh, the people that he brings on the program. But but I always love his perspective because, frankly, he does so much to take businesses to the next level. Before you introduce your guest, Charles, why don't you tell us a little more exactly what you do for companies uh, out there? Sure, Kevin. Uh, by the way, thank you for the nice introduction. Uh, what we do is I'm the president of uh, Focal Point International here in Houston. And what we do is we work with small business owners to implement sales, marketing, and productivity strategies that are designed to double a client's business in 12 months or less with the really hopes of finally giving them what the business owners always wanted, which is freedom, freedom of lifestyle, freedom to go and and where they please. I love it. I think that's great. Your website? www.cornerstonebusinessacademy.com. All right. Sounds good. Now introduce your guests. I'm really excited to have uh, Margaret Costello. She's with Riverway Business Services, and she owns a recruiting company that specializes in placing pretty much every discipline within the energy industry. So, um, Margo, welcome. Thank you. I'm really happy to be here. I appreciate it, Kevin. Glad to have you on. Uh, do want to? You know, we should have warned you at the very beginning about the mic. Make sure you keep your mouth close enough to the mic. And I'll also tell you something else. If I see you reading from here, I will take this from you. Okay. This is a this is a, a no no open book test here. So, uh, but I guarantee you we won't ask you anything that you don't already know. So don't worry about that. So, kind of give us your elevator speech to get us started. Okay, well, what we do, um, we do temporary and direct hire staffing. Um, What I wanted to talk about today, though, primarily is our petroleum division because it's growing, and that's what Houston needs right now is strong petroleum recruiters because, well, for the first time in a long time, there are a lot more jobs than there are qualified people. And so what we're trying to do is find um, the right people for the right jobs, which is actually our tagline, um, and we've got um, petroleum. We recently expanded to the to Katy because I don't know if you've been up and down the Katy Freeway, but there are cranes everywhere. It and most of it is building buildings for oil for the and gas energy companies. corridor. Sure, exactly. absolutely. And what percentage of your business is energy related? Um, right now, about twenty percent, because mm-hmm. um, the majority of our of our other business is temporary, and temporary is always because it, it's more of a recurring revenue business. But with petroleum, we do direct hire placement, and we do contract workers in petroleum. Charles. Margo, when we uh, talked uh, uh, beforehand, you had mentioned that uh, you have a pretty extensive network, which is a great thing to have as a recruiting firm. And, you know, usually when we talk to recruiting firms, they all kind of say the same thing, which is, well, we have a great network. What makes your network so unique uh, so that you can really deliver that value to your customer? Well, our um, our petroleum recruiting manager has been in the business for 33 years, wow. and he not only has been a recruiter in the business, but he used to work in the oil field. So he not only talks the talk, he walks the walk, and when oil and gas companies call him and talk to him, they can he knows exactly what they're talking about, and it gives him a unique perspective on how to find people. When we hire petroleum recruiters, the first thing we do is not send them to recruiting training, but send them to oil and gas training so that they can learn what exactly companies are looking for when they're calling us for different jobs. Okay. Okay, let me ask you uh, a little bit about the history of the company. How old is it? Our company started in 1990. Wow. And so, yeah, we've been in business for um, 23 years now. It's That's a long fantastic. Time. Yeah, that's awesome. Charles? So what really, in your mind, are you seeing as far as the challenges that energy companies are having uh, and what type of need you're fulfilling within the marketplace? Um, Right now, the hardest thing is finding really good petroleum engineers, reservoir engineers, people that really um, have got the right level of experience. Um, The baby boomers are retiring and there was a big gap in the early 80s when the oil and gas industry went down where nobody majored in oil and gas. And because of that, there is a big gap of that level of experience. And so finding that level of experience, um, and even a lot of companies have started hiring back retirees. They retire them, and then they bring them in on a contract basis after they've retired. So 
Um, and it keeps them, I mean, most people that are in the oil field are kind of hooked to it. They love it. So they want to go back and work, and we payroll those people. Yeah, very good. And uh, what are some other sectors of your uh, of your business beyond the energy area? Well, we do, um, on the temporary side, we do a lot of call center placement. We do a lot of administrative assistance. Um, our processes in those area are very unique, and so we're able to we're able to do really, really good work in those areas. An example would be we have um, a large call center that we work with in the downtown area, and their biggest problem po- problem was attrition. And when we came in, their turnover was massive, and our people, which we have. Uh, we have a lot of people down there now, probably 70 people, and their attrition rate is 90% now. So, And before we came in there, it was like 50% or, or less. Mm-hmm. Very interesting. Margo Costello, uh, Riverway Business Services, and uh, interesting to see what's going on. I'm, I'm excited about the fact that the uh, Houston economy continues to go uh, in spite of what's happening nationally, so your business continues to grow. It is. We grew 40% last year, and we grew 40% the year before. So our business, and this year, we're projected to grow I'm probably 40 or 50%. Very good. Charles? So tell us a little bit more about your uh, petroleum vertical. Uh, you know, a lot, of, um, in, a lot of recruiters are trying to get into that space or maximize on that space. Kind of tell us, you know, you mentioned that your partner, Dave, is a, you know, 33 years in the industry. What are some other things that really differentiates yourself so that when a when a uh, energy company calls you, they know that you're the best fit for them. Well, when an energy company calls us, and this actually happened last week, um, the very first thing we do is go and meet with them, and we take um, our Dave goes, who is our manager, and um, usually um, another recruiter goes, and our temporary manager goes. And they meet with them, and they're able to talk with them and find out exactly what they want and also see the culture of the business. And um, Dave has done this for so long that he goes out and he meets these people, and he literally has in mind people when he walks out the door. And um, if they're not interested, then he knows that they'll know someone that is. And so that's where his network comes in handy. So it sounds to me like what you're really doing is a consultative placement. You're not trying to go in there and trying to sell them somebody, literally some body. (laughs) Yeah, you're not not like a mortician or anything. I am not. I am not. So it really sounds like you're really trying to align what the company or your client is looking for with the best fit for that particular job. Our most successful placements are the ones that last for years. We want to place someone with that company that 10 years down the road is calling us, asking us for help to find someone else like them. That's really unique because sometimes recruiting firms tend to be like realtors where they just want, want, they're expecting a call from that same person every year to do a new placement. Exactly. Exactly. And um, somebody that's moving from year to year is not a good placement. You need to find someone that is going to be a good culture fit so that they're happy in that company. That's the whole point. Yep. Absolutely. Riverway Business Services, Margo Costello. Uh, the website over there is riverway.jobs. You heard correct. J-O-B-S, riverway.jobs. And uh, delighted to have you both on. Thanks uh, thanks you, Charles, for bringing on such a great guest. I'm happy to have her. She's a Great uh, businesswoman and a great uh, entrepreneur, so it's, I'm blessed to know awesome. her. Thank you. Thank you. It was a pleasure being and, here. And we told you to be painless. You did great. Thanks. All right. When we come back, we're going to have much more for you. I do want to remind, remind you the show continues 24-7 at priceofbusiness.com. And also uh, outstanding content can be found daily at usdailyreview.com. Visit both of those great sites. More for you right after this on The Price of Business.